Hello everyone, our Jerome Harris from DVDScopy.com. In this video, I want to do a quick review of a very good DVD player software, and it's called Power DVD 12 Ultra. And right now, you're looking at the graphical user interface. I'm gonna tell you, this thing is really, really impressive. When I downloaded it and installed it a few weeks ago. I started to play around with it and was thoroughly impressed with it. And let me show you what I'm talking about. The first thing that uh, I think I should start to do here is let's take you up to the settings section here. I'm going to click on this little icon here. When you first install the program, you want to go in here because uh, you have various settings here that are pretty much self explanatory. For example, if you go into the general settings here, uh, this shows the name of your Power DVD. Uh, PC. In other words, this is the PC that uh, Power DVD is installed on. This happens to be my name here, R. Harris PC. And uh, you can select your uh, system default language. You can have uh, enable music playback for uh, playlist slideshows, which I'll talk about in a few moments. Under library, uh, this is a very important section here because when you first install the program, uh, it automatically scans your uh, my music, my video, and my photos um, folders on your hard drive that are installed by default. Well, what I did was I have an external uh, drive that's a very large capacity, and I simply created my own folders here. I created a my music, a my video, and a my photos folder, and uh, copied all my music into that folder, all my videos uh, into this folder, and all my photos into into the my photos folders on that drive which happens to be the G drive on my PC so you might want to do that or if you wish you can leave that the default settings when you first install them clicking this symbol right here allows you to create your own uh, directories uh, you can create ones for example called my files and place uh, various files into that directory but that's what that does player uh, this lets you set up a default disk drive. Uh, I have mine set at E. This would be the drive that you would insert uh, or play your DVD movies out of or your Blu-ray movies out of. And on my particular PC, I have a uh, DVD uh, burner and also a Blu-ray burner. And this program will play uh, Blu-ray and DVD movies beautifully. Video. Uh, this uh, lets you set up various uh, encoding schemes. I find that in this setting right here, leave everything at their default settings. You're, you're just fine there. It also plays audio files. And right now you can set up your speaker environment. I can pull down and select headphone. Output mode, obviously stereo, but there are other settings here. Surround sound, Dolby headphone, DVD. Uh, you have certain things you can set up when you play your DVDs. You can automatically have a program uh, enter into the full screen mode or you can have it play DVDs or VCDs. These are video CDs um, at these very speeds. I typically leave everything at the default settings and I've never had a problem with the program. Blu-ray disc. Uh, this lets you set up the various regions of the world that you live in. I live in the United States, so I leave mine at the default country of the United States. My region code, I leave these as they are, um, and I can come in and change them if I want to, but I find that uh, right now if I click on A, and if my Blu-ray movie happens to be in region code A, which is North America and in South America, it will play just fine. Home Media. Now this Home Media DLNA, DLNA stands for Digital Living Network Alliance. And what that does is that it allows you to stream music, photos, and video content over uh, high definition uh, formats uh, over your home network. And right now, I don't have that set up uh, on my uh, PC. Movie Live. Uh, movie Live is a Blu ray disc and DVD movie database site that are contributed by uh, Power DVD users worldwide. So if you play a movie, it's going to attach to that database and give you some information on about that movie that you're playing. Uh, you don't have to have this. I happen to have an account. It's free. It doesn't cost you nothing. You visit the uh, movielive.com website and set up a free account and put the information in here, your uh, email and your password. Music Store. This is a pretty neat feature here because 
um, there's a music store and I'll show it to you in a few moments and if you purchase music from the music store this is where it's going to store the music that you purchase for example uh, it's going to place any music files that I purchase in this directory path right here and you can click on the browse button and change that now out here you have one two three four five six seven different uh, areas here under media library if you expand this out uh, it's going to show what you have now in my case I have blu-ray and DVD movies uh, DVD burner blu-ray burner and if I were to insert a uh, DVD movie into my PC and actually I do have a DVD movie installed right now it's uh, the Batman movie so if I click on that all right uh, and if I click the play button And right now what you're looking at is uh, some of the previews that appear on that DVD disc. All right, so that's what it's doing right now. Let me stop that. And uh, videos. Now recall here, let me go back to the to configuration here, under videos, under library, under videos, I placed all my videos into this folder here. In other words, I uploaded my videos into this folder because it's, this is where I want uh, power DVD to go to play my videos. So when I come back out here and click, click on videos, there are two videos in that folder. See here are my videos. And of course you can also drag and drop into this control panel here as well. But right now I have two videos in there. If I click on it, this right here, for example, the gray, and then click the play button down here, then power DVD will go ahead and play that particular video file. Let me stop that and go back. Now, also under photos, I've uploaded uh, three photos to demonstrate to you uh, into that uh, folder, my photos, and they're appearing here. And I can do a slideshow. See, pretty cool, huh? Let me stop it and on the music, I've also placed some sample music into that uh, my music folder on my G drive, and I can play them from here. I can just click, and right now it's playing that song. Now let me do a stop on that, and also you can come up here and you have different views. I can select what's called the list view, and it shows them as a list. I can select the album view. It shows the album or I can select the grid view that's what I had it set to originally all right under the my computer uh, tab here this is all the the various drives you see under my computer your C drive my D drive uh, the DVD burner in my case is the E drive and Batman Begins is inserted in that I have a, a blu-ray ROM installed and I also have an external G drive and an external H drive. So this is going to be different for you, but this is the same thing you see when you go to my computer on your, your PC. For example, if I click on the local disk right there, it's going to show all the files and programs installed on my on that particular drive. That's all it's doing. Under devices, you have a power DVD remote mode, which is really cool because what this does this allows you to control power DVD remotely and I'll demonstrate that in a few moments right now I have my Apple iPhone uh, attached to my PC right now and if I go to videos for example that's me and I have a, uh, a video file I see two of them there if I double click on that I have two there and I have various photos that I have in there 37 of them now under the DVD remote let me click on that and what this does this allows me to uh, control uh, power DVD say remotely say from my iPhone for example or an Android now let me go here and let me attach to this program right here via my iPhone go back okay there we are I just attached to power DVD using my iPhone and let's say if I want to play um, 
that DVD movie that's sitting up here. Okay, I'm going to click on the DVD movie icon on my iPhone. You see there? And this is all being done from my iPhone. So I just started that DVD movie from my iPhone remotely. I'm going to click the stop button on my iPhone. Okay, I'm looking at my music files here and I'm going to play something. Alright, as you can see over here, it's playing. And I don't know if you can hear that over the uh, speakers, but uh, right now it's playing. So what this does, this option down here, let me minimize some of this. Where it says Power DVD Remote, it lets you, con you control Power DVD remotely from um, your Apple iPhone or Android device. You also have a, a, a store here, a music store, which is pretty neat. If I click on that, it lets you uh, search uh, for various types of music and also purchase them. And uh, this is a pretty neat feature. Let's say, for example, you know, I like smooth jazz, and I'm going to do a search for one of my favorite j uh, jazz players, uh, Dave Cause. And I'm doing a search for that. And it's showing me his albums. And let's say we're over here, uh, here's a song I like. For example, if I want to listen to that song, I click on that icon. And it shows me uh, the songs on this album. And I simply click on this right here to listen to it. See if it's something that I like. And right now it's playing. Let's say, for example, if I wanted that song, I come over here and I click purchase and it asks me here are you sure you want to buy the track and it says my credit card will be charged $1.29 then I click OK and it downloads it to that folder that I uh, specified in the configuration settings that you saw earlier uh, up here okay you also have online media let's look at that uh, for example, if I click on Facebook, it attaches to my Facebook book account. And when you first start the program, over here, what it's going to have you do is uh, enter in your Facebook uh, account information. Then it attaches that. And from here, you can upload photos or whatever you want to do uh, to your Facebook account from this interface. I also have a YouTube account. So if I click on that, it lets me uh, attach to my YouTube account. Or if I want to, I can search YouTube for videos. So if I come up here, if I click, uh, let's say featured, all right, now I'm on the YouTube website. I can type in a particular topic. Let's say, let's say UFOs. I was typing UFOs just for something. And then uh, the program brings in all types of uh, videos on UFOs. And if I click on one here, and then I can view it uh, from within Power DVD. Okay, I'll stop that and go back. Movie trailers. All right, uh, let's say, for example, the new Spider Man movie. So I'll type in Spider Man. And it shows a trailer. I'll click on that and click play. And right now it's about to play that uh, brand new Spider Man trailer, all from within Power DVD. I will click stop. If you have a Flickr account, click on the Flickr icon here. And right now I don't have any media available. I do have a Flickr account. I just haven't configured this for it yet. In fact, right now it is logged into my Flickr account and I can drag and drop uh, media into this control panel and it automatically uploads it to my Flickr account. Under playlist, this is pretty cool because you can create your own music playlist and I have one created down here called Smooth Jazz. So let's say if I want to make a new playlist, I click on this, give that playlist a name, I'll make up something called um, 
classical. Classical music and click OK. And then what I do is I highlight that and I find uh, some music files. I think I have a few here on my PC just to show you as an example that I can upload here. I'll take just a few of them. And I'm going to drag this over into the control panel. So right there I have a playlist here with six songs in them in it. I have a smooth jazz playlist that has 18 songs in it. Let me click on that one. And these are the 16 songs, or rather the 18 songs that I have within that. And you can just click on the play button and it will start to play that first song right there as indicated by the play indicator there and this arrow here. Okay? So that's what this program is all about. Uh, I am thoroughly uh, impressed with it. Uh, actually, I've fallen in love with it. Power DVD version 12 Ultra uh, is definitely worth the money. And so, if you want to read more information about Power DVD version 12, please visit the website. So, this is our Jerome Harris. Thank you for listening.